Hey guys, um, so I'm just making a, ow, I'm making a video um, about customer service and about um, how I get my customers ordering past the three months. Um, so this is a video that I did in the boom time page, but I've changed a couple things up since then. So it's like a new and improved video. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, my name's Asia Rhoda. I am a diamond leader with our company. And yeah, so I'm just going to kind of tell you guys how I, um, take care of my loyal customers because we all know that they are like the bread and bre bread and butter to our company. Okay, so it's super simple. I went to Staples and I spent like $7. Okay, so I have just like an index card box. Okay. <clears throat> you can get index card dividers. Um, like I, I got all this stuff at Seagulls. You probably get out like Walmart or Target, but you can get index card dividers. So I have them numbered one through 31, excuse me. Um, and then I just have like blank index cards and you don't have to get green ones, but go green. Um, so I have green ones, whatever. Okay. So every month we know our goal is to fill out our steps to success. So, um, I fill out my steps to success. And every time that I enroll a customer, um, what I do is I take out an index card, okay? I write their name. Sorry. I write their name um, and their ID number and then the date that they enrolled and the, like, the full date with the year, okay? And then I put down here, like, what they ordered. So, um... I can kind of just like, okay. So name, ID number, what they ordered and the date that they ordered on. Okay, so she ordered on, um, oh yeah, she changed the date of her order. Okay, so say someone ordered on the 10th. I file them in my filing system on the first because not everyone is going to like text you back right away if you text them that day sometimes it, like takes a couple of days for people to get back to me and i want to give them a chance to let me know if they want to change anything with their order or whatever um so i file them 10 days before their um next shipment is going to go out um and then what i do is on the first of every month they take my steps to success and um, I have like cards. I got these at Hobby Lobby for like, they always have like 50% off and coupons and stuff. So there's a ton of cards in here. Um, and I send thank you cards to all of my loyal customers. I either send them a sample of greens on the go or of our wow cream, depending. Um, if they place a big order, sometimes I'll send them both. Um, so I always send them at least two packets of greens or two packets of wow. And I just send them, you know, a thank you card. And usually it's something like, hey, Cassie, I'm so excited that you're finally getting started on our hair, skin, and nails. I can't wait to see your 90-day results. Here's some samples of our greens. They're literally my favorite product. Um, they detox and alkalize your body. Let me know what you think. Um, and then I say, like, um, I'll be in touch with you. Um, I'll be in touch with you like before your next shipment or something like that. Um, chat soon, XO Asia. Okay. And I mail them out to all my loyal customers. Um, so I do that in the first of every month. I mail out thank you cards from the month before. So then what I do for following up with them is, um, you can go into your e-suite and if you go into or like organizational explorer i want to say um you can like type in people's names or id numbers and it will come up it will show you like 
um, you know, their address, their phone number, all that. So that's where I get that information from. Um, so, you know, today is the 25th. Um, also, you guys will know that like, so since all of our orders for the end of the month process on the 15th or on the 25th, like the 15th is like when I have a huge stack of cards for like a lot of people to follow up with on the 15th because auto ships last day that they run is the 25th. Um, so today's the 25th. Um, so I don't have anyone whose order is going through on the 5th, but like, so this girl's order is going to go through on the 6th. So I have her filed for tomorrow for the 26th. So I will go into eSuite. Um, like the first time that I'm going to message them, I go into eSuite, I get their phone number and I save them in my cell phone as, um, P E and then their full name. So, um, I'll save her on my phone as P.E. Nicole and then her last name. So I know she's personally enrolled. She's one of my loyal customers. Um, and then I'm just going to shoot her a text message and I'm going to be like, hey, um, hey, Nicole. Um, I say, hey, Nicole, it's Asia, your It Works rep with like exclamation point and a smiley face. And she'll message back and be like, oh, hey, what's going on? And um, basically I just... Um, make some like small talk, ask them how they're doing with their products. Sorry, I'm like so EDD right now. Um, I drink a lot of coffee. So I will be like, um, ask them how they're doing with their products. I ask them if they got my card. Um, and then, you know, I just am like friendly and make some small chat. And then I'm like, all right, awesome. Well, I just wanted to like remind you that your next shipment is going to process on the on the sixth, um, are you good with just the hair, skin, and nails? Did you want to try? The, did you want to add the greens on this month with that? Um, and just like gauge them out, and then now they know. Okay, my next shipment is going to go through on the sixth. Since I started doing this, credit card declines are down so so much, um, and also um, my customers are ordering past three months. So what I do is when it's coming up on, now it's going to be their fourth month, I'll message them and say, uh, hey, Nikki, like I just assume that they want to keep using the product. So um, like I just messaged a girl the other day about um, our hair, skin, and nails. Like this is going to be her fourth month now. So I messaged her. And she was actually one of my teachers um, in middle school. And I messaged her and I was like, hey, Miss Law, like, how are you doing with the, um, the hair, skin, and nails? And she's like, oh, like, I love it. Um, my hair and nails seem to be growing much faster now, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, awesome. Did you want to keep that in your order for this month? And she's like, yes, please. So cool. She's going to keep going for another month. So I'll just keep following up with her like that. And then if they were like, oh, I thought that it's only for 90 days, then I explained to them, yeah, it, it is. Um, you know, like you commit, you completed your three months. So what you can do now is um, you can either continue to order and you're going to get free shipping or you can, um, I tell them you can continue to order and you're going to get free shipping. Um, also, you're going to keep accumulating perk points. So right now you have about $10 in perk points. If you go ahead for three more months, you're going to accumulate more of those. Plus when your sixth shipment goes out, you're going to get an extra $50. So you'll have around $70 in free product money to spend. If you um, want to keep going for a couple more months, like you know you're loving your results, blah, blah, blah. And then if they're like, okay, awesome, I'll keep going, then like we just keep going. I ask them if, you know, they want to try anything else now, um, you know, and then if they don't want to keep going, then I'm like, okay, awesome. So I can go in and um, usually I sign a lot of my customers up. I get their information and I sign them up. So I'll be like, I can go in and cancel that for you. Um, you do have 30 days to use those $10 in product money. Did you want me to put in one last order for you today for the hair, skin, and nails? And you can, um, you know, use that $10 off that you've accumulated. And normally they say yes. Um, and if they, and then if they say yes, I go in, I cancel their auto ship, um, and I'll check them out and apply their perk points and just let them know like, okay, it's this much after the perk points have been applied. Um, 
is it okay to process that? And they say yes, so I process it. Um, and now they've used their perk points. If they say no, not today, just remind them, okay, you have 30 days to use these points or they're going to expire. Um, and I just leave it at that. So since I started doing this um, and teaching my team to do this, credit card declines have been down. Um, we used to always have like at least one or two a day. Um, now we're not seeing them as often, maybe like a couple times a week we're seeing them. Um, so I feel like it's a tried and true method that if you're in contact with your loyal customers and you're reminding them when their next order is going to go through and stuff like that, um, you know, they're going to be prepared. They know, okay, my order's going through, I'll have money in my account. Um, or if they need to change it to a different day, they can tell you, um, you know, like, oh, like I'm actually not going to get paid before that. Is there a way that I can switch the date? And then I'm just like, yeah, of course. Like, so when um, do you get paid? We can get it to go through the day after that. So we know that, you know, make sure that there's money in your account. Um, and then, like I said, people are ordering past the three months. I would say about 90% of my loyal customers keep going after three months. Um, a lot of customers that I have have been ordering for like a year now. Um, so this is a really good method of keeping track of your loyal customers and giving them good customer service. I think that, um, I love our team, like our team's amazing and whatever, but I think that we don't like talk about the customer service aspect a lot uh, or enough. Um, and we don't really like stress it. And it's super, super important to give your customers, um, good quality customer service because they're at the end of the day what makes up your paycheck you can have 50 distributors under you but if you guys aren't taking care of your loyal customers they're never going to keep ordering past three months and those 50 distributors mean nothing if you're not you know getting loyals and in, in retaining them um we don't want our say like you don't want a sale to be okay, this person's going to get hair, skin, and nails for three months. So there's 30 BV a month for the next three months. And then like, I'll figure out how to get more after that. You want people to find stuff that they love and try different things to find something that they fall in love with that they're going to want to order every month forever. Um, so just make sure that you're taking care of your customers. Um, if they order to the six months and they get their 50 per points, send them another thank you card. Thank you, you know, thank you for supporting my home-based business. Um, you know, tell them like what it means to you that you um, have had them as a loyal customer for six months and, you know, by them choosing you to order from, you know, what's that doing for you and for your family? Um, because the people, people do care. Um, and that will mean a lot to them. And I think too, um, you know, Jade and I were talking last night and I was like, you know, um, cause I think someone, someone said something mentioned like, oh, like you could, you know, send thank yous through emails. Um, people don't get snail mail anymore. So, and if you're too young to know what snail mail is, snail mail is like when you get mail in the mailbox, um, people get bills, you know, um, and you know, junk mail, but it's very rare. People don't send letters anymore. Everything's done online now. So think about like how excited that you get when you get a piece of mail in the mail. That's like something you can actually open and read. Like, you know, if you have a family that lives out of state and they send you a birthday card, like that birthday card is exciting to get something in the mail. That's not, you know, junk mail or a bill. Um, so it means a lot to people to get a handwritten card from you. Um, and that's going to show a lot about your character to them. Um, people respect that. So just make sure that you're taking good care of your customers. We're building a lifelong business here. We're not building, um, you know, three month relationships. We're building lifelong relationships with these people. So make sure that you're taking good care of them because they're what make up your paycheck. And, I promise you that you want that volume coming in and you want them using our products, you know, for, you know, six months, eight months, a year, not just for the three months. So just make sure that you're taking care of them. And if you guys have any questions about, um, like my system with this, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. 
Um, and I hope that this was helpful to some of you guys. Have a great day.